Red Hood is a powerhouse brawler that uses his dual pistols with concussive bullets. Definitely not murdering a bunch of people. Definitely not. He's probably the most OP character in the game because he does break some of the combat. But let's talk about Jason Todd and get into his best skills. Let's go. If you're enjoying this little skills series, be sure to subscribe. I do this for practically every major RPG that's released, so I'm sure I've got content on the channel that you'll like. Let's get into his must-have skills. Now, Red Horde focuses on improving his damage and ranged attack power primarily with his skills. There is some unique grab abilities here, but I'm leaning into the ranged combat because grab attacks just ruin the flow of combat and there's really no point in doing it when you can just be ridiculously overpowered with his ranged attack. We'll start with the like initial skills that you absolutely have to get, and this is Freak Justice, Regulator Justice, and mob justice. Now these all do the same thing and that increases Red Hood's damage by 15% and critical damage by 5% against the freaks, the regulators and the mob. This is huge because you're going to fight freaks, regulators and mob like all the time in the game until you get to like the mid to late game and the variety changes a little bit but you're still going to fight those three main factions a lot of the time and like 15% damage and 5% critical damage like I mean you can't go wrong there like it's just a huge increase to get. After that or even before that honestly I would be picking up focused fire. This will allow Red Hood to aim down sights longer for four times more damage. Now, this doesn't sound that interesting. And originally I was like, eh, why would I want to like hold my aim? But the thing is, you can one-shot enemies with this attack when you headshot, and because enemies and the AI is dumb, they don't know where the shot came from, and so you can just like sit on a perch and just like headshot everyone and kill them all at once without like ever engaging in combat. It's kind of hilarious sometimes. You can combine this with the weak spot damage plus in the knighthood skills to further increase that headshot and weak spot damage as well. So really, like it kind of makes some of the combat very just like simple to just like roll through because you just one-shot enemies and keep on moving. It's kind of fun. And even when you are like sitting on perches, you can just rain death on them with your ranged attacks. And for the most part, some enemies can't even attack you from that distance. Some enemies will throw stuff at you, but some can't. So you will get a lot of value out of that. Moving on to the general like build setup. As I said, we are focusing on the ranged abilities and skills here. Now in the brawler line, which is all the grab attacks and stuff, honestly, completely ignore it. You don't need anything in there. We're never really going to be grabbing enemies unless you're interrogating them. And grabbing enemies just slows the flow of combat. You can only attack that one enemy while you're that grab animation you can still get hit it's just a bad time don't do it a couple of other things in the marksman line that you should pick up is lucky round so every round red hood shoots you have a small chance of dealing five times more damage and because with red hood you are just going to be constantly using those range attacks you barely ever will actually melee so that like five percent damage increase will happen pretty regularly for the most part you can also pick up some of the other things in here like precision strikes and critical expertise but that focus fire and the quick fire expert is really the main things you want to pick up to increase that critical hit chance and damage and that kind of thing. Now in the Vengeance line, we've already talked about those justice perks and you do want to move a little bit further down into this line. Now combine fire is a pretty meh. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Double vortex is the key here. Now after two-fisted reload, which is a momentum ability, you will shoot double the amount of rounds for a short period of time. This is huge because essentially you just deal double the amount of damage for a short period of time. And for the most part, when you're using all of your ranged attacks, you'll be using that two-fisted reload to reload anyway. So then once you've like blown through your clip, you'll use that to reload you'll just do double the amount of damage for a period of time and just like laugh your way to the bank really it's pretty overpowered even with like lower tier weapons that i'm currently using with my red hood that i don't have any like top tier weapons now it's also worth pointing out with red hood to always be using elemental weapons especially freeze because you can freeze enemies and then line up that headshot with focus fire for that extra like headshot damage that you can do really beneficial to pick up in the knighthood line i would ignore anything to deal with the mystical rounds ultimate ability i'll tell you why when we get into momentum abilities from here you really just want to pick up the weak spot damage and range terror isn't too bad because you will do a lot of that ranged attacks and like knock enemies down and stuff but for the most part really you can ignore them kind of things now moving on to the momentum abilities let's talk about the ultimate first because i did just mention it's crap now mystical rounds you lock onto enemies and you fire those mystical rounds you have to hold it for a period of time until like that reticule fills up and then you let it go and it like one shots most average enemies and does a decent amount of damage to the big guys but the thing is again it ruins your combat flow you have to wait for this attack to trigger why would you do that when you can just like blitz through enemies with the range attacks with Red Hood? Because you do so much damage just by like using the two-fisted reload momentum ability and then just getting that double damage increase and just blitzing through enemies. It's much faster, it's much better flow, and it just works much better. So two-fisted reload is that momentum ability. Now this will like grab an enemy and do there's a couple of different animations you'll do, but you'll do an animation and it'll just instantly reload your pistols so you can just keep firing your pistols. And as I mentioned earlier, and I'll just mention it again here just to like reiterate with Red Red Hood, you are supposed to use the range attacks. You're not supposed to use like just the general
general beat em up mechanics. You can if you go the grab line, but here we're not focusing on that. You just want to be using your pistols all of the time. And to continue with that kind of line of thinking, I'm also using a lot of portable turret, which is his other momentum ability we're using. This will summon a little small turret that deals a ton of damage. It only lasts six seconds, not very long, but it does melt through enemies. And you can just summon this bad boy and keep firing. It's like set and forget, right? You just put it down, it shoots things, you shoot things, everyone has a good time. And that's basically Red Hood. You just shoot your pistols and that's pretty much it. Like it's, there's not much to Red Hood. It's just shoot away. You can do some like stealth stuff, but Red Hood, honestly, there's not much point. You can just kill things. It's so easy to do. He's so overpowered in terms of damage and it's kind of ridiculous. Make sure you check out my Robin and Batgirl guides. Thank you for watching this video. Till the end, thank you to our members for supporting the channel. My name is Norza and I hope you have a great day.